load up, Pooh. Let's go back home. Oh man, this arc was so good. Yusuke always goes absolutely crazy. But man, Sensui was different. Such a top tier villain. I was not expecting him to have split personalities. But the demon world? There's so much to explore. I wonder how many episodes I got left. Let me check real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Where'd the rest of the episodes go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 18, 19? How the hell? Surely they got like a Yu Hakusho Shippuden or some shit. Yu Yu Hakusho was created by legendary mangaka Yoshihiro Togashi, with it being the first manga that Togashi would showcase in Shonen Jump. The anime first started airing in 1992 and nearly 30 years later it is still relevant. It's without a doubt a classic which gave birth to many young anime fans back in the day, allowing it to amass a smaller cult following that is utterly obsessed with the series. Plus to this day many still consider it to have the greatest term arc in all of anime. Which is definitely not from My Hero Academia. Yet for anyone who's read or watched the series of Yu Yu Hakusho, you may have been confused regarding the abrupt end to the series. Following the conclusion to the chapter Black Arc, there was potential for mass exploration within the demon world. Yet when you eventually go to the episodes list after Yusuke agrees to go to the demon world, you'll be hit with a flood of confusion when you notice how few episodes remain. When watching Yu Yu Hakusho, you'll reach a point where it seems unfathomable that the series is going to end in such a short amount of time. How are they supposed to explore a world as vast as the demon world in just 19 remaining episodes? The answer to that question is they couldn't and they were never going to. The series of Yu Yu Hakusho was cut short, stripped of what could have been endless potential. But that begs the question, why did Yu Yu Hakusho end so prematurely? Before going into the reasons of why it ended early, make sure to like the video and comment your thoughts down below, as wish for many others to hear this saddening story. Now if you know anything about Yoshihiro Togashi, especially regarding his current and most popular series Hunter x Hunter, then you'd be familiar with Togashi going on hiatus due to debilitating health conditions. And a similar tragedy had befallen Yu Hakusho. Initially, Togashi cemented the idea of ending Yu Hakusho after the chapter Black Arc, yet deciding to end a series on your own terms is quite difficult within Shonen Jump. When Togashi was asked what was the most painful thing that happened while you were writing Yu Hakusho, in an Ask the Author interview, he went on to state, Around the time Yusuke was fighting Sensui, when I didn't want to draw manga anymore. I asked the editorial office if I could quit Yu Hakusho already for the first time. This really goes to demonstrate the level of power Shonen Jump holds over the authors. Even during times of pain and suffering, they forced Togashi to continue with Yu Hakusho. Yet Togashi was firm in his desires to end the series which required him to utterly refuse to continue it, expressing that despite how popular Yu Hakusho had become, it would quickly get replaced by any other series. Thus, after the finished serialization of Yu Hakusho, Togashi countlessly exclaimed the sense of relief he felt over the ending of the series. Now if you didn't know, series within Shonen Jump gets votes from the readers, and the voting plays an integral part in what series would continue to be published. In an interview published from Shonen Jump Exhibition Volume 2, Togashi disclosed that if a series remained unpopular for over 10 weeks, then it would be removed from Shonen Jump entirely. So while wanting to end Yu Hakusho, Togashi felt trapped. The only way to exit out of a writing was to write a poor story until the fans lost interest. Clearly this wasn't what Togashi wanted to befall his cherished series, so he made sure to be unwavering in ending the series even after being rejected. But why was Togashi set in stone in ending Yu Yu Hakusho? And in this quote he explains, there were many reasons for this, all in all about 50 big and small ones, in which these 50 reasons can be put into three major categories. The first being his body, the second reason being thoughts he had about what it meant to draw manga, and lastly the desire to do other things than work. In this summer quote, Togashi states, Point three is out of the question for a professional manga writer. Basically I wanted to indulge in other hobbies, rest, and sleep as much as I could, and Togashi's words go even further than this as he states that at one point he tried to get a bit of sleep each night, but immediately fell behind on schedule, which made him think, I don't want to die from overwork. If I die, I want it to be when I'm having fun, when I'm drawing manga for fun. And as a result of Togashi wanting to indulge in other hobbies, it only worsened his health, which was point one. He would decide to sleep less in order to do other hobbies, and it created a larger snowball effect. However, the idea of overworking oneself to death is not uncommon in Japanese work culture. In an article from Business Insider, it states, in Japan, corporate life is so intense there's actually a word to refer to people dying from overworking, karoshi, which literally translates to death by overwork. And in 2013, a 31-year-old journalist, Mio Asado, logged 159 hours of overtime in one month at the news network NHK before dying of heart failure. 
and sadly this bleak phenomenon is exactly what Togashi was afraid of. Continuing the stories with such strict deadlines was simply overworking Togashi. This is honestly so disheartening to hear. The manga and anime industry is brutal regarding the working conditions they have. Some may say that this is the life that they chose, but they should still be able to live as humans. Togashi goes on to later explain that he had less than half a day a week to catch up on the necessary sleep that he needed, and it got to the point where he had to choose between either getting an adequate amount of sleep each night and being overworked, or working to the point of losing significant amount of sleep. And when Togashi ultimately chose the first option for an extended period of time, this only heightened his levels of stress. So it makes complete sense why someone like Togashi would become tired of working on a Yu show. Losing something as vital as sleep is honestly degrading as a human, and it makes me question how someone like Oda, who writes One Piece, is capable of consistently writing a single manga for over 25 years. It's honestly ridiculous. Oda must have a sense of passion and dedication to One Piece that is on another level, or he received tons of help that makes his job much more manageable. As help was something that Togashi lacked, he put such a heavy weight on his own shoulders to make his manga of a quality that would satisfy him, which only introduced another wave of stress. And in this quote, Togashi explains, Because I had stopped overworking my body, I started to relieve my stress, but I was feeling stressed that I couldn't draw manga in a way that would satisfy me. I was never able to throw away my ideal of being able to draw manga without help from other people. The stubbornness and pride that Togashi holds over his series has resulted in his downfall, pain, and suffering. And it makes me wonder about the amount of help people like Kishimoto, Oda, and Araki receive with their manga, and whether or not this is a Togashi specific problem. Another saddening point that Togashi brings up is that when his stress was at the highest in regards to satisfaction for his work, the only way for him to relieve that stress was to complete all the drawings by himself, expressing that this is where the manga struggled the most. It would result in messy line work and messy panels, and Togashi fully realized this. Most of the fights between Karama vs Karasu, Yusuke vs Sensui, and the scene where Yusuke met Ryzen was primarily done by himself. He even ended up finishing the Yusuke vs Sensui in the meeting between Yusuke and Ryzen half a day before the deadlines. And we can certainly see the lackluster art in some of these panels. The lack of detail and character features, the emptiness that encompasses the pages with excess white, and in some places, shading and hatching that seems as if it was just scribbled on. Overall, these panels lack the same energy that many of the outstanding panels possess. Thus, when reading Yu Show, you can recognize the utter rush Togashi was in. Now, I don't say this to critique and bash Togashi for these bad panels, as they are truly few and far between. I just want to acknowledge and showcase some panels that Togashi himself was not proud of. But health isn't the only reason why he ended Yu Show. Later, in an interview, Togashi Togashi goes on to state how he felt he explored all the possible directions for the characters in Yu Hakusho. The premature ending of Yu Hakusho is one that is demoralizing to hear, with a combination of loss of passion on top of the health detriments Togashi went through from a physical and mental standpoint make it perfectly understandable why he ended the series so abruptly. I think this is a valuable lesson for many manga and anime fans. We need to realize that these authors are real people just like you and me. Who have a variety of hobbies and want to live lives outside of their work. No matter how much I would have loved for Yu Hakusho to continue, this means absolutely nothing if the creator does not feel the same way. And the same goes for my beloved favorite series in Hunter x Hunter. It is truly sad to hear the anecdotes regarding Togashi's health, and I wish nothing but the best for him. He stands in a high class of few Hall of Fame level mangaka. I would like to share one quote from an interview that broke my heart when I first read it. And it goes, Obviously, I put a lot of my own flavor in the manga I write, but I also make sure to add some traditional elements that make Shonen Jump what it is. So when I say I want to stop writing manga, it's a lot different than if a true genius like Akira Toriyama announces the same thing. And my response to that quote is, No, Togashi, you are that true genius. And your stories have touched many people's lives. Initially, when coming up with this video idea, I had plenty of theories regarding the reasons why Togashi wanted to end Yu Hakusho, mostly pertaining to the Demon World since I drew so many parallels between the demon world and the dark continent. I believe Togashi always had a much grander concept in mind for the demon world, but through researching the true reasons why Yu Hakusho had ended, I've discovered a much sadder story than what I naively thought. It wasn't one strictly for a lack of passion and boredom he had, it was an ending that was filled with agony and suffering. May Togashi forever be happy and healthy. Thank you for watching.